The new HMS client is uniquely fitted with a number of automatic systems on board. She's an incredibly technical ship. The first HMS Clyde had a ship's company of nearly 270 officers, ratings and marines. Whereas HMS Clyde will have only 34. That is almost an eight-fold decrease in personnel. That is made up for with technology. Uniquely to HMS Clyde, she's been fitted with a helicopter deck. So part of that training will involve intense helicopter trials to prove that we can efficiently and effectively operate helicopters as required. HMS Clyde is quite well armed. And I'm really pleased um, that VT have adapted a number of um, tailored training packages for my ship's company so that the personnel are fit for task. Of note, HMS Clyde will sail to the Falkland Islands with an embarked VT engineer as part of the ship's company. Having the VT engineer on board, I feel will be a really unique and beneficial factor and I think it could prove to be a deciding factor on how successful HMS Clyde is when she's on station in the Falcon Island. There's a long and deep relationship between the people who live and work in the Falklands and, and the forces. A really strong and enduring relationship with, with the Navy in particular. But seeing the Clyde here to replace the Castle class would, would be a fantastic event and, and people will really look forward to that. And if the Clyde could be here for, for, the, uh, for the anniversary celebrations, that would bring a sense of the, of the future. Investing in new technology is always going to be really important. That's the physical manifestation of the government's commitment to us, and we're very grateful for that. And here we are in the new millennium, and VTs come to Portsmouth and using the same docks of that 1876 period to herald a new industry and a new age of shipbuilding in Portsmouth. I am absolutely delighted to be uh, taking command of HMS Clyde and to have the opportunity to take her on her maiden voyage to the Falkland Islands is, is an absolute honour. From that breeds the great wish to go to sea, to serve your country and to do it in a platform that you're proud to serve on. Clyde to me is the most wonderful submarine and I think it's terrific that the name should be continued. Um, I've always felt that shipbuilding tradition should be kept up in as many ports in Britain as we can. And to think it's coming back to a, a, a famous naval port is really wonderful.
Thank you.